Okay, so with this method, the Egyptian multiplication method, which we'll describe again in this video, I'm going to look at some larger products just to see how well this method helps me. So let's try 24 times 78. Not a very friendly product, but we can handle it. So first what we do, of course, with the Egyptian method is to start at 1. So 1 times 78 is just 78. And the Egyptians would double this because they're all about the doubling. So double to 2 and double 78. Double 70 to get 140, double 8 to get 16. So 140 plus 16 goes here. It's 156. And keep going. Double again. 4 times 78 is what? Well, let's just double this. Double 100 is 200. Double 50 is another 100. So it's 300 and 12. Keep going. And all we're going to keep doing is doubling, doubling, doubling. 8 times 78 is what? Well, double 300 to get 600, and double 12 to get 24. So 6, 24. Next, we have 16. What's 16 times 78? Well, I have no idea, but I know it has to be double of 8, right? Because 8 times 78 is half of 16 times 78. And here, we're going to get 1,000, I believe, and 48. Let me check my reasoning. Uh, no, that's not correct. I just was thinking that 600 doubled is 1,200. 24 doubled is 48. So 1,248. And now, in fact, I'm done because if I double this again, I would get 32 78s, which would be 2,000, and then double 200 to get 400, and double 48 to get 96, so it would be 2,496. Right? This is too large, 32 times 78. We need 24. So with the Egyptian method, as you're doubling, you'll quickly reach a point where you exceed the first multiplicand. Here I reached it at 32, so I know I don't need this last step. I'm only going to use these combinations here. And what I would do for the Egyptian method is to add up the numbers that give me 24. So I'm going to use 16 78s and 8 78s. That's the same thing as having 24 78s. So 24 times 78 equals the sum of 624 and 1,248. I'm just going to add these two up. Because again, this was to say I had 16 78s. And here I have 8 more 78s. Altogether, it's 24. 78s, add these up. 8 and 4 is 12. 4 and 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 8 and 1, and there's my answer, 1,872. So, again, with the Egyptian multiplication method, in this first column you're doubling, and when you're doubling like this, uh, your numbers get really large, really fast. So, I mean, if I had 1, double to 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, and so on. In other words, when you're using this Egyptian method, this first column right here <coughs> will quickly reach all the products you'll need, and then you just add these numbers in certain combinations to get products that you need. Now, the tricky thing is that sometimes you might need to use certain numbers over and over again. For example, let's say I, if I wanted to find something between 64 and 128, right, like 83. Oops, 83. Now with 83, how would I get that? Well, I could take 64 plus 16, right, and that gives me what, 80. So I could take 64 and 16. And then I feel good, right? But I want to get 83. So one way to do that then is to add the 1 times 78 three times, or the 1 and the 2. Right? Either way, you'll get the same answer. So I'm not sure if they did that with the Egyptian method, where they might say, oh, well, I know what 1 times 78 is, so let me triple that, and that will help me. Or if they always added combinations of doubles. But don't be afraid to repeat 
um, a certain product to help you find an answer. For example, if you want to find 10 times 78, obviously you could add 8 and 2, but don't be afra afraid to add 4 and 2 to get 6, and then another 4 here. Right? Be flexible with these combinations to do whatever is, is making the most sense to you. Anyway, I hope